Good afternoon, my name is Nazri Asmani from Indonesian Vegetable Research Institute, Indonesian Agency of Agricultural Research and Development, IIRD. Together with Mrs. Asi, Kakaryadi, and Mr. Atmafi Mardeka Effendi, I studied about combination of genotype, plant spacing, and time density for improving growth in yield of garlic national varieties. <coughs> Indonesia has been the largest importing country for decades. Garlics from China are hugely imported in the domestic market. This becomes a challenge to the Ministry of Agriculture for pursuing efforts to put Indonesia in garlic self-sufficient. There are some background points related to the issue, considering that Indonesia's growth population costs and increasing demand, which finally increased the need for garlic import due to the gap between domestic needs and national production. The superior characteristics, superior characteristics such as lower price, bigger cloth, thinner fill of imported garlic have also impacted on local markets. Breeding garlic for higher yield conventionally is almost impracticable to, it, to its flowering endurance. Meanwhile, the biotechnological approach needs longer time to implement. Thus, the most feasible improvement should be done through agronomic aspects. Previous studies showed that genotype, plant density, and plant spacing affected the growth performance and yield of garlic. So our goals are to search for alternative ways in cultivation techniques to improve garlic production, then to analyze the effect of combination between genotype, plant spacing, and plant density for improving growth and yield of national garlic varieties. The research was conducted on Ipogris Markahayu experimental field and Mount West Java, Indonesia, at, the, at 1,250 meters above sea levels from June 2020 until February 2021. <clears throat> a specific plot in completely randomized plot design was laid out for evaluating interaction between varieties, plant spacing, and plant density with replication for each combination. The observed parameters consisted with vegetative growth and yield parameters. In our specific plot design, genotype became the main plot consisting four national varieties released by Ministry of Agriculture. Lumbu putih, lumbu kuning, lumbu hijau, tawang baru. And for the subplot, we use three kinds of plant spacing. Meanwhile, the sub subplot, we use plant, uh, three kinds of plant density. Plant density in our research was defined by the number of cloves planted in each of planting hole. So we use 1S, one cloth per planting hole, 2S, two cloves per planting hole, 3S, three cloves per planting hole. This is our results. Um, the present table is an offer of growth parameters resulted from variety, plant spacing, and plant density interaction in garlic production. The, the results showed that some parameters were significantly affected by the interaction whether between main plot and subplot or main plot with sub subplot or the three components, variety, plant spacing, and plant density. And this is the ANOVA of yield parameters resulted from variety, plant spacing, and plant density interaction in early production. It also showed that some parameters were affected significantly by variety and plant spacing or variety and plant density, or variety, plant spacing, and plant density. In summarize, we can um, see the result from this diagram that the interaction of genotype and plant spacing significantly affected pseudo stem diameter, diameter of fresh bulb, wake after curing per sample, seed bulb wake per sample. Meanwhile, genotype and plant density significantly affected percentage of population, number of leaves, plant height, fresh weight, weight loss, estimated fresh weight per hectare, 
estimated dry weight after curing reactor. However, there is no significant interaction was found between plant spacing and plant density. But we found that the interaction between genotype, plant spacing, and plant density significantly affected number of stomata and seed bulb diameter. <clears throat> there were parameters were significantly affected by each component without heavy interaction. For example, number of chlorophylls and bulb height were only affected significantly by genotype. And root length were, was significantly affected by plant density, pure bulb diameter, estimated seed production were only affected by plant spacing. We also observed the weight loss per sample of garlic varieties grown in all treatment combination. From all co treatment combination, we can see that the highest weight loss occur from fresh weight to the period after curing. The, uh, it shows the steepest slope during the harvest time to the seed storage. It also noticed that higher, the higher yield of variety produced, a higher weight loss it would have. For example, tumo kuning in the blue uh, in the blue line produced the highest fresh weight, but also got the biggest weight loss. And this is the highlighted results related to improved garlic production. You can see from the combination between variety and plant spacing, the tallest plant was resulted from Taumangu Baru planted in the plant spacing 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter. The highest fresh weight per sample was resulted from variety Lumbu Kuni planted with, uh, in the pots using 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter uh, intra and inter-row plant spacing. Meanwhile, the highest weight loss, as we can see from the graphs, uh, was resulted from Lumukuni planted in plots using 10 centimeter, 15 centimeter plant spacing. Meanwhile, the effect of number of clove planted in per planting showed that Talamang Baru, Talamang Baru, Talamang Baru using only one clove for each, each planting hole resulted highest pseudostem stem diameter. And also Lumbu Kuni using one clove per planting hole produced the highest fresh bulb diameter. The same lumbu kuning in the um, plots using only one cloth per planting hole produce the highest seed bulb weight. And the last seed bulb diameter was significantly affected by the combination between variety lumbu kuning, plant spacing, which planted in 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter uh, plant spacing and only using one cloth per planting hole. So the, re, uh, the conclusion is combination between ferret and plant spacing produce higher fresh weight. Again, lumbu kuning combined with plant spacing of 15 centimeter, 15 centimeter. Combination between genotype and plant density resulted in higher seed bulb weight, um, like lumbu kuning planted using only one cloth per planting hole higher number of cloth didn't produce higher yield. The combination between genotype, plant spacing, and plant density resulted in larger seed bulb diameter. However, this, uh, the diameter of seed bulb was still smaller than compared to the imported garlic bulb. This is our reference. We thank Indonesian Agency of Agricultural Research and Development for providing the facilities for the research. They also think normal for statistical guidance, such as a and for field technical assistance. Thank you, and have a good